so I'm with uh, Josh Paglia um, <laughs> at the Water Cube, and uh, well, Josh, you're back here, but yeah. you, you used to work with uh, at Stockholm World Water Week with with Siri, didn't you? But you've um, you left and you've been in China. Yeah, yeah, it's funny being back at the World Water Week now because now I walk very slowly <laughs> <laughs> around where for uh, for a <laughs> few years I've been about. running running around and on the phone and. Uh, Hi, great to see you. And then <laughs> running off. So now I get to see uh, my my very close friends and colleagues doing, uh, and not just exaggerating, but doing a much better job. <laughs> so each year. what are you working on now? Um, well, uh, yeah, I left I left Siwi because I wanted to move to China for both uh, pers- personal reasons. And uh, I always wanted to go back to the excitement of, of living in China and looking for some sort of different opportunity. I didn't know what it was. Um, So now I've started working as a consultant on a project together between WWF China, WWF Sweden, and uh, IKEA. And uh, it's a a different type of project where we're looking at ways that you can promote sustainable life at home. So, I mean, this can be, you know, instead of looking for IKEA, which they're doing a lot of, about how you can change your supplier's you know, yeah. to make the make the production yeah. process more more sustainable. But then, how do you make people yeah. change their behavior? It's not it's not about how was this manufactured and so the, what's the supply chain. It's about actually how things are designed and how that influences behavior and consumption of resources. I guess at home there's yeah, it's both, right? So I mean, you can think about one thing. For instance, uh, washing laundry in cold water saves a lot of energy. I mean, when you wash your clothes, uh, 90% of the energy you use goes to heating the water. So how do you get people to wash clothes in cold water? Yeah, That's kind of the stuff that we're looking at. And then a lot of things. I mean, if you look at food habits, we know food waste. Seaweed's highlighted this uh, tremendously, how half of the food is lost or wasted. In Britain, you throw away a third of your food. In America, you people throw away a third of your food. People think they don't throw away food. You know, so that makes it makes it harder. So then, how do you influence people to, to not waste food? And I mean, at IKEA specifically, you know, they have products that maybe can help make it easier for people to do it. And then, how do you motivate them to, to not waste food? So that's the, the areas we're looking at, and it's a sort of the the frontier of sustainability, the the harder the harder part, dealing with people. Yeah. You know, so it's very so. so in terms of how these kind of initiatives get instigated, I mean, I, I wonder, I don't know if there's any, any of the, how involved you were in the backdrop too, but you know, I wonder, was it IKEA that, that, that um, instigates this kind of initiative or is it, this, is it a WWF push to, to work with these kind of manufacturers of all these, these kind of companies? I mean, it, it, comes, from, it comes from both. I mean, I, I just started and got involved and I had nothing to do with the original creating of these projects but uh, the key and WWF work together a lot so the, the most famous is the initiatives with forestry and cotton Yeah, and the cotton initiative has been extremely successful and then they're also working a lot with climate so they have several climate projects but uh, it's mostly in the development phase so you don't you don't hear much about it uh, in general but they're they're working a lot and the Kia I mean the Kia has been They've integrated sustainability as one of their core principles. Yeah. So they're at least really looking at, okay, how do we start to approach these issues? So those of us that are interested in following this initiative, and I'm thinking here, you know, I can think of people who are product designers that would be fascinated by this, as well as water people here. I mean, are there any ways that we can kind of follow what you guys are all up to? Not yet. <laughs> uh, not yet, to be honest, because... Yeah. Uh, we, we're still in the, the development stages with all of this. Well, um, when you do uh, have ways that we can kind of dive in and keep keep yes. up with it, it would be great to hear. So, um, But it's really good talking to you. Yeah. So, so yeah, so think think about that. Think about how you can influence other people or other people can be influenced to, uh, you know, take action to waste less food, you know, or to, uh, yeah, I mean, the simple stuff, shutting out the lights, yeah. it's not going to change the world, but... If you think about these things and you have any ideas, you can come contact us because I can use all the help we can get. Josh, thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks.